in question 9 we are given these five pairs of rational numbers that you see and we have to determine which is greater in each pair so let's get started in part 1 the two rational numbers are 2 by 3 and 5 by 2 both of them are positive one option is to compare them directly by observing their magnitudes 2 by 3 is less than 1 and 5 by 2 is greater than 1 so clearly 5 by 2 must be greater but let's do this comparison by converting both rational numbers to equivalent rational numbers with the same denominator okay so that's how we will uh, do each part so the LCM of the denominators 3 and 2 is 6 so the LCM is 6 so let's write both of them as equivalent rational numbers with denominator 6 so 2 by 3 can be written as 2 into 2 by 3 into 2 so 2 by 3 can be written as 4 by 6 and 5 by 2 can be written as 5 into 3 by 2 into 3 so this is 15 by 6 so clearly uh, by comparing 4 by uh, 4 by 6 and 15 by 6 we see that the numerator 15 is greater so 15 by 6 is greater than 4 by 6 in other words 5 by 2 is greater than 2 by 3 so the answer for uh, the first part is 5 by 2 okay so that completes part 1 now let's come to part 2 in which we have to compare minus 5 by 6 and minus 4 by 3 so the denominators are 6 and 3 and the LCM is 6 so we don't need to rewrite minus 5 by 6 but let's rewrite minus 4 by 3 as an equivalent rational number with denominator 6 so minus 4 by 3 will be minus 4 into 2 by 3 into 2 or minus 8 by 6 so now comparing minus 5 by 6 and minus 8 by 6 we see that the numerator in minus 5 by 6 is greater and therefore minus 5 by 6 will be greater than minus 8 by 6 or minus 4 by 3 okay so minus 5 by 6 is the greater number in uh, part 2 okay now let's come to part 3 in this we have to compare minus 3 by 4 and 2 by minus 3 both of them are negative so let's rewrite them as equivalent rational numbers with the same denominator the denominators are 4 and minus 3 the LCM of 4 and 3 is 12 so let's write both of them as equivalent rational numbers with denominator 12 so minus 3 by 4 can be written as minus 3 into 3 by 4 into 3 that's minus 9 by 12 and 2 by minus 3 can be written as we want denominator 12 uh, a denominator of 12 so we will multiply by minus 4 above and below so this will become minus 8 by 12 now if we compare the numerators we see that the numerator minus 8 is greater so minus 8 by 12 will be greater than minus 9 by 12 in other words 2 by minus 3 will be greater than minus 3 by 4 so this 2 by minus 3 is the answer for part 3 then in part 4 we have to compare uh, minus 1 by 4 and 1 by 4 now the first one is negative and the second one is positive so we can directly say that the second rational number 1 by 4 will be greater so without any calculation we can say this that 1 by 4 will be greater in part 4 then finally in part 5 we have to compare minus 3 and 2 by 7 with minus 3 and 4 by 5 both of these are written in mixed form so let's first write them in the normal uh, form so minus 3 and 2 by 7 this will be how much so 3 into 7 is 21 21 plus 2 is 23 so minus 3 by 7 will be minus 23 by 7 and similarly minus 3 and 4 by 5 will be 5 into 3 that's 15 15 plus 4 is 19 so we will have minus 19 by 5 now the two denominators are 7 and 5 and both of these are negative rational numbers so let's write them as equivalent rational numbers with the same denominator and the denominator that we will use is 35 because the LCM of 7 and 5 is 35 
okay so minus 23 by 7 can be written as minus 23 by 7 and we multiply by 5 above and below so this will give us minus 115 by 35 and minus 19 by 5 can be written as minus 19 into 7 by 5 into 7 so this will be equal to minus 133 by 35 so if we now compare the numerators we see that the numerator minus 115 is greater than minus 133 so minus 115 by 35 will be greater than the number minus 133 by 35 or in other words the first number minus 3 and 2 by 7 this will be greater than uh, minus 3 and 4 by 5 so the answer for part 5 is the first number now an alternative way we could have compared these two numbers is by noting that the integer parts of these two numbers are the same so we have minus 3 and minus 3 in uh, both of these numbers uh, and the remaining numbers the remaining part is this these parts these fractional parts so I will leave it to you as an exercise to figure out how just by comparing the fractional parts we can say that the first number is greater than the second number okay so with this we have completed question number nine to learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams explore QMath leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.